Woke up with this money on my mind Man, I hardly sleep cause I know I gotta grind See, I'm going through a struggle, I'm going through a struggle And it's only one way to get through it, that's hustle I don't do it for the car, I don't do it for the clothes I don't do it for the bra, I don't do it for the hoes I don't do it for the ring, I don't do it for the chain I don't do it for the fortune, I don't do it for the fame I just do it for the Shop today to see her new creation. She's always coming up with something. I love her. She's so sweet and she's so humble. You know, I'm from Miami, so it's a lot of hate in these streets. She's from Memphis. She does not hate at all. She's always trying to help, trying to see how she can help you. I look to her as like my mentor, you know. She's a little older than me, and you know, she I can I just can learn from her basically. So I'm going by to see her, talk to her, chat, and catch up. I love it. Thank you. Oh, How you been? Oh my God. How you been? Good. Oh. <laughs> I love Now you know I'm going to need that purple and pink one. I know. I got you. First quarter. I got oh you. my God. I love it. Yeah, that's cute, right? Yes. You, this, you did this in like five seconds. You just told me you was doing this. Two weeks. <laughs> You know you how don't I am. Play. That's why I love you. How you been? Oh my God. Don't look around. It's cute back I there. I miss you. Yes. Oh my God. You have a whole full the for hair. Oh my God. Now I can get my lashes done back here. I love it. Oh my God. Make wigs, everything. You know I do it all. You don't be playing. That's why I love you. I yeah. swear I do. Oh my God! Let's just catch so what up. What you been up doing, up to, honey? You know me, always just trying to make my checks, mm -hmm. always. So I don't. What's the latest tea? What's up with you? Besides my love life never being where I what I wanted to be, um, my printing company is still going on going, the rise. Going. Yeah. Okay. Um, my music is still pretty much the same, you know, with the new label. I'm working on my new project. Um, mm -hmm. that is and that's, it's going okay. You know, I love music, so that's going to always be there. But I love making money more. So because it's not one of my money-making areas, I, um, I just actually started a new job. You know, because I, I wanted to, it's all the way in Cutler Bay. I, I'm more so I wanted a, a steady income on top yes. of my other incomes. That way I can feel like I'm tripling up because it feel like I'm like running in a mm -hmm. circle and I'm not making what I want to make, you know. So with businesses up and down, I need yeah. something that no matter what. What, what happened? You still have money? I'm still getting money. Well, first thing, you got the job. You got your job. Yes, I so did. So try to put back and save. That's, that's Save your money. So whatever business you get into uh you can make mainly take out you know your savings and you won't owe nobody exactly because my business i don't owe nobody i own not one cent <laughs> so you want to want to make sure you save your money you know stack your bread up and make i it work am like that. so in love with this shot <laughs> So, you know, I try to stay in shape and try to work out as much as I can. So, me and EJ went down to the gym just to work out since she missed her workout today. I'm gonna get all that out. EJ, EJ, EJ. Your trainer told you to do it, you'll do it. Well, my trainer ain't here. So, that would be. I mean, I can be fat today. Oh. You said you want to lose weight, right? Yeah. Okay, then. 
Let's get to it. Tea no sleep. Getting in routine, and it's like this shit always happens. Every time I try to work out with her and teach her new things, it's like she never want to listen to me. Yeah, I want to lay in bed and be fat today. Want to be fat? Yeah. And then when you yesterday, when you want to put on your bathing suit and shit, then you be like, oh, look at my stomach. But when she working out with her trainer, it's nothing. Why can't I just do it from the ground? Why you just can't do what the fuck I tell you to do? See, and that's why. Because you're not a good trainer. You're bossy. No, but like, if I'm telling you to do something, curse at me. do it. Because if you was with your trainer, you do it, right? For me seeing what she do when she out with this nigga sincere, like... I thought sex fit was like a catchy name mm -hmm. for his own, for his business. But it's really sex fit. So what, what, what you trying to say? Meaning like... The kind of moves he do is sexy. Titty shit? So you mean to tell me? Because I ain't never been with no training they did some shit like this. That's because you're a boy. You damn near on his shit. Like, who the fuck does that? It's not that deep. I was the fuck you mean ain't that deep? If I, now, if the tables was to turn and I was, and I was training somebody and then I had the girl and I was holding the girl like this, and we doing exercises like this. I'm going down. Look, like, what the fuck is that? You grabbing on the nigga back and everything, like, no. Nah. Cause this is shit I'm paying for. That's the case. You might work out with me, or you can go back to the old motherfucking trainer. But I'm not paying for this shit. I'm basically paying him so that he can feel on you and sex you with clothes on. You sound like you really. Fuck you mean? No, it's I'm not, not even that deep. Right now, I'm getting raw. I'm getting damn <laughs> and I'm paying him and it, you, it's you and him a little too. You don't even like dudes, so why? I don't even see how you that, how you get that motherfucking personal with him. Like for real. I have to admit, it was kind of awkward, but it ain't that deep. Okay, like. so, cause ain't no way in hell I'm finna have my girl on top of some nigga thing going up and down. Like, nah, I ain't having that. Like, you might as well just kill the whole shit. As a no, matter of fact, kill this shit. Let's go. This shit gonna piss me the fuck off. What the fuck? Come on! I ain't going nowhere. I'm about to finish my workout. Scum! Dynamite. You might shut it anywhere at the mix with the syrup there. Boo, I pass me the coach. International star right free. Like, we lay on from the black eye pay. Party me say before me all right pay. Like two punch a core and be I also from nine to five. We party Monday straight to weekend. Me and four shot in your right. Each and every man a free them. But my people we no like. Imagine say we no see them. So we that is a whole of vibe. And thank God I'm alive. Smoke a little, drink a little, have a little fun. Up. Mix it and rock and syrup with the rum. Well, it's that time of my life where after 15 years, I'm finally out of my house. So I went and got me a little temporary spot downtown Miami in a condo across from the American Airlines Arena. Kel hit me up and said she wanted to talk, so I told her to come through. Hey, what up? So what's the directions hard? You know, I'm slow, so hey. <laughs> yeah. Directions well, were well, difficult. Well, I'm glad that you came. What's up? What you been watching? I'm chilling. Come on, let's go sit by the pool. Sure. I haven't kicked it with Trina in a while, so we decided to link up. And what better thing to discuss than business? Yep. What up? I'm trying to figure out how you came all the way over here at this time of the night or day to see me. I know you up to something. What's going on? I'm listening, nigga. Let's go. You know how it is. All right, let's talk about it. I you know it's whatever. Well, how was your day? How you doing? You see how my day is. I'm enjoying life. As always. Doing what I need to do. As always. That's that crazy shit. Let me stop with you. Okay. Nah, I can't talk business with you. Okay, what's up? That's a lot I take that man you can really make some big money. Make some moves. Start knocking this shit down down here in Miami. We ain't oh, we never do, do nothing that. together either. Oh, we can do that. As long as you let me strategize it so we don't lose. We no. need to win. Whatever we do, we need to make it happen. I'm not with 
gambling. I'm with making something happen. That's like guaranteed. Gambling, right? I don't like gambling. I, love gambling. I mm. take chances. Well, I'm I rehab chances. for you. I'm rehab for you. Nah, all right, look. Not nah, real shit. Mm -hmm. Some business, right? Mm -hmm. So I think we should get a little night. We should start a night together. Cause you gotta think about it, like. As long as it don't you. interfere with Cloud Nine, I'm down for whatever. All right. You know, I got a, I got a few little situations going on, mm -hmm. so we just gotta pick a night that you available, I'm available. So let's strategize, mm -hmm. and we can come up with something. Are you gonna listen to me? Do I have to listen to you? you it's teamwork. This shit. nigga, you have to listen, partner. cause I'm don't smarter like than you. That. I'm older than you. I'm wiser than you. But that don't mean you're smarter than me. I got more game but than that you. That don't mean you're smarter than me. Nigga, when it comes to this, listen. Just trust me. And if it don't work, after it don't work, you say that. But until then, you go for what I can say. So what you're telling me is I gotta go in and just listen to you? No, you don't. If it don't crazy listen, shit. if it don't make sense, ah, Billy, go gruff. Then we don't. You don't gotta listen. Now that me and Kels finally had this conversation, it's so mighty funny. She's always talking about making moves when she really not ready. At the end of the day, if you're not ready to do business, don't fuck with me. Because I'd rather eat crumbs with bombs than steaks with snakes. Mm -hmm. On the night that I'm available when you are we go from there. But we got to see what type of night you want to do. Straight people, want to still dedicate to our gays. I love my gay people, but we need to, I need to expand. I already got a successful Saturday night with everybody that's in Dave Broward and Palm Beach County. So I do not want to promote to those same people to come to a different night on the same week because it's gonna, I'm going to lose. The whole conversation now went left. We went from talking about business to talking about Jess and Jess job. Everybody know I hate Jess Jess. Okay, anyway nigga, what happened last night when we did the event? What was going on with you and Jess? Everything. She was looking sexy and everything. What happened? Everything was cool. Y'all was, was out of there very quick. No, nah, everything was straight. And then, I don't know what happened. You know, I kind of asked somebody, oh, can you stay over here? Then <laughs> she kept walking off going to holler at somebody. And I was just like, man, hey, you stay over here. We over here. Just get a bitch. She just caught an attitude in there. But it's like right now, you know, being together six years, the kid, it kind of seems as though, like, Every little thing aggravate her. Literally everything. I, I can say, babe, I prefer you to wear this shirt than that shirt. Uh, you only think you take one too. <laughs> that's how us girls are shirt. though. But that's how we women are. And she's comfortable and she know you in love. So of course that's what she gonna no, do. She's a good girl and everything. And evidently it's something about her that you love. Cause she's still there. So take whatever you don't like and put some positive into it. I try, man, but like, even now, you know, she done changed jobs now. What's she working at? She don't want that cocoa no more. She bartending to take one. Mm, so how's that going? Worse. I don't like it. Like, <laughs> man, literally, like, she wore panties to work. So it just went from, like, the regular tights that I was bitching about to, like, actual panties. And she look at me as though, like, I'm tripping. Kels, she work at a strip club. I understand that, but this no, is what I'm saying. No, no, you're, it's, it's nothing to understand. Yeah, I understand. Listen, that, she's working around bitches that. that's butt naked. She has to make her money. She has but to do what she but, has to but do. She got the body, no, let her do no, it. It's a as long as if she I came naked. to you every day and I said, I'm going to make money regardless. I don't got to do this. I don't got to do that. I'm going to make my bread regardless. So in my mind, how I feel, you're going to make your bread regardless. So why you got to look like everybody else if you're going to make your bread regardless? <laughs> I look at it like this. Whatever you tell me is what I feel. Mm -hmm. If you just say, baby, I got to wear this to work. Mm -hmm. I got to go make my money. At the end of the day, I gotta respect that shit. True. But when you tell me, I'm gonna make my money regardless. No matter if I have on whatever, I'm gonna make my money. Okay, what's the problem? But guess what? All us women have a little stubborn pride. I do believe that Jess is a worker and she a money maker. I don't think that she dressing like that for nobody. I think that she doing what she gotta do to make her money. And I actually want y'all to come over here one day so I can cook for y'all together. That'll be fun. Oh, you know, she don't eat. She only eat turkey and meat. She don't eat no beef, no pork, no. It don't shit. matter. I cook so you everything. Cook some I cook everything. I get some shrimp and crab, but fried just, rice. But look, Trina. Stop complaining Trina. about Jim. You love her. You ain't leaving. You already know she the boss in the relationship, so act like it. Stop acting like you don't know no better. I love her. All right. So I don't want to leave, but it's okay. hard for me to accept. I don't know All about right. them, so I Can I say leave. something to you? Okay, work on it, my friend, but at the end of the day, until you are paying all the bills in your household to the point where Jessica wake up and say she don't feel like going to work and she could lay in her bed and flip her channels, you need to respect what she got going on. As long as she ain't bringing nobody else in y'all bedroom and she not giving you problems with none of these people that's buying drinks from her, you need to shut the fuck but up. You 
honestly, I think all girly girls stick together. They, in some type of sense, they always gonna have each other back. Trina ain't really understanding what the fuck I'm saying. I know just work at the script club, but that don't mean I want my girlfriend to pay me. You can tell her. You can tell her. You can tell her. Tell that bitch I got my lights on. Life right, think I'm running in my nice right. Tell that bitch. So Nisha and I are meeting up tonight. She wanted to talk business, which never really works like that when me and Nisha meet up to talk business. <laughs> but we're going to Hurricane Grill tonight to chop it up about a few things, see where she's at in her life, and see where I'm at. It's been maybe like three weeks since we've talked, so this is going to be good. <laughs> me just trying to figure out if he really liked me as much as I like him. Cause you, but that's because you got this association with liking it. But he you think like liking a bitch is like, are you in and like... Yeah, and that's the that's why I wanted to show me something different. You know what I'm saying? That's why I want to talk to older guys. Because I'm used to talking to my age or younger. So I'm always in control. And I'm always like the aggressor. So being that he's like the aggressor, he's very aggressive. But that may have something to do with his island and that education to make him Bahamian and Dominican. Okay, so I met up with him about business, but of course, you know it went personal because I always got to keep my boo filled in. <sighs> so I'm just going to tell him about my new little boo. Well, I don't know what he is yet, but we'll see. Time will tell. <laughs> All that. The Aquarius. He got a lot of girls. You probably put it down as well. Mm -hmm. And the weird thing about him, like him. Yeah. You know, he do he does his thing. <laughs> and then we get right to the Bitch, that's so fucking he, he has to do his thing. I don't got that's shit to do simple. with you not liking it, bitch. I love you. That's <laughs> that ain't I my problem. problem. You don't like it, that's the point. Maybe I should I'm happy. The part of the routine. Thank you. It's like we kiss, then we kind of get that signal of it's about to go down. Start going down. But I need you to go down. Think on my neck, think on down, down to my like breast, and you know what is next. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what you know about it? Oh, <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm ready. When we, when we getting together to do this choreography, you got the record. I do. I'm fucking with dope bitch, which yeah. is my favorite. I, we was just in between those with two no, records. No, that's it. Dope bitch. That's it. That's it. Let's do it. I'm just ready. Whenever you're ready for me. So you said you, you, you killed some next level shit. Do I need to be like, how ready do I need to be? You definitely don't need to fucking smoke before you come to Okay. That's it. I'm, I need your brain. I'm trying to have it out, gone and out of my No, 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 no. I don't want you to stop. Because I, I feel like everybody stop. should. No, I'm telling you, I don't. Conversations between Nisha and I always start out like this. And then after a couple of drinks, they start. <laughs> but they're always good conversations. Judge Check out my life right. I don't party when the sun down. Tony made my sound say right in front of me. Witness greatness. No LeBron, just try. Well, buddy, yeah, cause you say you're professional, but he already late. He coming. He's he pulling up right now. See, I'm talking about. So today I'm working out with EJ and her trainer. I want to see exactly how he acts around. Girl, relax. Yeah, I got to see this nigga. He already late. That's number one. Number two, I just ain't already feeling this shit. <laughs> but I'm going to give you the benefit. I'm going to see you. Give me the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. All right, yeah, we'll see. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Today, we're going to meet up with EJ and her girl. I'm going to tell you about the girl or whatever. So I'm like, this is gonna be real fun. So I'm stupid excited. Next nice thing you know. Where the, where the heels and the lipstick at? Oh, you set me up. 
I thought he not doing the same exercise that he was just doing with her the other day so you know after this workout me and him gotta have a talk <laughs> you know I still got my little prison mentality I see her people keep looking at me like like she like she got a problem or something so I'm like what the hell what's up what happened? You want, want, want to holler at me right quick? You see, this is shit I'm talking about. I was struggling and you weren't helping me. I, now all of a sudden, I, like, man, fuck this. Let's go. Let's now the right hand, watch the left hand. Both hands, watch the face. And now we here. So today is the day. It's officially the day of my birthday party. I am so nervous, like extremely nervous. I only been at take one for like four months. So I'm like really hoping that the people come out for me, you know, come support me. But we gotta see. I just got to take one for my baby party. All type of things. It's running through my head. Last year at her party, she thought she was a stripper or I don't know what was going through her head. She forgot she had a girlfriend. So it's like this year at this party, I'm more so worried like, okay, what she going to do? We already on the edge with everything. So it's like any little thing could officially break us apart. As long as she don't try me, I'm going to try my best to be good and just let her have fun. I know the night about to be crazy. I ain't even supposed to be here tonight. But I know this where the party gonna be and it's gonna be turned. So the party has started and the place is packed. I really did not expect this many people. So now it's time for my stage set. And I gotta get on stage. I was so nervous. <laughs> I was so surprised, like everybody showed up, like where y'all came from? I'm in the club vibing, we having fun. Next day I know somebody running the club and they tell me Maxlin got hit by a car. Like my heart just dropped, I'm like... Oh 
need to go right now, please. All right, all right, all right. Oh,